To be really honest with you, I'm very excited about what we're doing. Where our parishes have begun to embark upon an appeal, a fund drive over the next year and a half to raise $125 million. That money coming in pledges will help support Catholic school tuition assistance, also to enhance the school programs, especially technology, also to have programs for evangelization whereby Catholics will not only strengthen their faith, but will share it generously with others, investing in, in the infrastructure of Catholic charities so that Catholic charities can better serve the individuals who are in need to provide for education for young men studying to be priests by helping them with their, with their responsibilities for tuition and also to care in a dignified way for those who have served, like Father Harry and others, for so many years as priests. This campaign is truly a historic event. It's a monumental moment for all of us. For we will be asking every Catholic family to consider making an investment in the future of our church. There were nine pilot parishes, St. Vincent was one of them, and in these pilot parishes there were many individual members of the parishes who really made the campaign a success. And I just found out this morning that in all nine pilot parishes we exceeded the goal that we set for ourselves. So that's why I said that prayer does work. And the fact that those nine pilot parishes could raise more than $13 million in just six months for the campaign really is quite extraordinary and very impressive. Those nine pastors asked their parishioners to do a little bit more, and in return, those parishioners actually did a lot more. And there were some people who had doubts, and I have to confess, I had some doubts from time to time myself. Obviously, we'd be starting this campaign when economic times were, were difficult, and we've just gone through a parish consolidation process. But what I really didn't understand then, but I do now, was that I was underestimating the strength of our community to really come together as a whole and make this campaign successful. <laughs> it's important to note that 30% of the uh, amount raised up to each parish's goals goes back to the parish for their local needs. So here at St. Vincent's, for instance, Father Crocker is using those funds to make repairs to the school, renovate the organ, and work on the playground. Unless anybody asked the question whether any of the funds from the campaign could ever be used to uh, pay for the settlement of lawsuits or legal fees and uh, surrounding any abuse cases, I can uh, most assuredly uh, tell you the answer to that is no. I also believe that this campaign can be transformational for our church and for our diocese. Um, it's not only going to prepare us for things that we know are future challenges, but it's going to focus on the positive things, the great things that are done in the parishes in the Catholic Church. And we're not going to, sure, we've made mistakes and things have happened, but let's talk about the great things that are going on every day throughout the Diocese of Cleveland and focus on those, not only just for Catholics, but for our entire community. And I think that's extremely important and why I'm excited to be a part of the campaign. We have an opportunity, not just for today, but well into the future, that this campaign, rooted in our faith, going forward in our hope to realize a wonderful good.